In this video, we'll take a look at how to import images into Genetica. There are two ways to import images depending on your goals. The first way is to import the image as a node. If I open the camouflage cloth preset, I see that it's constructed by taking a camouflage pattern and then applying a weave texture to it. From the generate category of the library panel, I can drag an imported image node over the camouflage pattern and then select the image that I want to import. Now the weave texture is being applied to the photo that I just imported. If I want to select a different photo with the imported image node selected, I can click the import image button in the properties panel. Now it's important to understand here that the way of importing images that I just showed you will not make them seamless. If you want to import a non-seamless photo and turn it into a seamless texture, then from the advanced nodes category, drag in a synthesis node, and then click edit. The texture synthesis dialog that pops up presents us with a number of presets to choose from, but we'll select the edit tab to create our own texture. Next, click the Select Image button. Hold your left mouse button over the arrow here and click Import. Then click Import Image and select the photo you want. A seamless texture is automatically created, but it would be better if the girl wasn't mixed into it, so I'll use the patched here to select just the rocks. Finally, I'll jack up contrast and saturation to make the texture pop a bit more. And here's the result a great seamless texture. Although looking at the texture a moment longer, these shadows here are a little distracting. I can see that the girl here is casting them onto the rocks. But if I select the edit tool, I can click a point here, add another control point, and change the shape of the patch to cut the shadow out. Here's the texture without the shadow. Perfect. Once finished editing the texture, remember that activating the anti-alias button will increase render quality. And then click the render texture button. When the texture is finished rendering, click export to save it as an image. And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit us at www.spiralgraphics.biz.